Hello and welcome to the New Song Cafe here at WorshipTogether.com. My name is Matt Marr. Today we'll be with Chris Tomlin, worship artist, who's going to share with us the song, Let God Arise. We hope you enjoy this New Song Cafe. Chris, great to have you here. Thanks, Matt. So uh, you're going to be sharing with us today the song, Let God Arise. Right. Um, Let God Arise comes from Psalm 61. And I was at this conference in Hawaii, and it's one of those conferences you don't have to pray much about going to, you know, it's just one of those opportunities that, that you love to come, that comes along. I know you love those. <laughs> Someone maybe. calls, oh, yeah. Yeah, let me oh, think about yeah. it. And Jim Simbola was preaching this conference, and uh, that this one, this one session, I was in the back, I was just kind of sitting up against the wall in the back, and he was preaching, and I just loved, um, I just loved what he was saying, and I remember he was, he just said this, he said, you know, we're, we're building up our, we're coming, we're doing all these conferences and having all these things, and we're trying to build our church as if God is dead, as if he needs our help. Mm. And he said, you know, the truth is, let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Wow. And I was like, wow. And he just walks off the stage like nothing else needs to be said. And I, th- and I just grabbed a piece of paper and wrote that down. I had no idea it was from Scripture. That's, sorry. But I was like, let God arise and his enemies be scattered. And I was like, that is brilliant. I mean, I, that is just something in me. As a guy, you, know, you yeah, hear Braveheart he, he's coming in the background. <laughs> <laughs> it's like wow, yeah. and so I, I found that in Psalm, Psalm sixty-one. It says, "Let God arise, and His enemies be scattered." And it has this, this beautiful psalm, and, and the, the psalm goes on to say, "Our God is a God who saves." And I just started thinking, man, I would love to put that to music. And I don't think those words go well with a nice little pretty little "Let God arise," you know, just like yeah. the little choir number. I wanted it to be rowdy. I wanted it to be. I wanted the music to really mimic what uh, what the words were saying, and so. I mean, I'm going to do it on acoustic, so you can't really mimic that that much. But you know, it's one of those where you just turn the amps up and you just—it's yeah. one of those kind of sh- shouting it out kind of songs. Yeah. So, and it's fast paced, and uh, I think it's like it's it's about as fast as you can play. So <laughs> I'm going to try to do something here on acoustic, though. <laughs> All right. Is that cool? Yeah, go for it. So, a little opening, little lick here. <laughs> Watch the waters part before us now Come and see what He has done for us Tell the world of His great love Our God is, our God is Our God is, our God is And I, I love this is like my this is my favorite song on Sunday the morning. Really? Oh, uh, I just feel like it it's just such a rallying cry for the church. You yeah. know, there's just and there is something about it saying, Let God arise. Like he's gonna do all the work. Exactly. You yeah, know? And, and that's what when we play it live, it's probably my favorite new song besides Grace is not <laughs> uh to play to play live like Let God Arise. And I just I mean I love I love I love the energy of it yeah. and, I, and exactly what you say. It really it's really saying something. Um, you know, that, that second verse is um, to the song, for me, it just it just captures yeah. it captures so much of the mm-hmm. of the imagery of God of that He holds the keys of life and yeah. the, His enemies will scare. The church will always stand. Yeah. And it's like it's just like yes, come on, let's do this. And yeah, so, yeah. I, and l- when we do it live, um, towards the end of the song, we just start really vamping on that. Our God, our God, saves. Yeah. And just let that just keep that just keeps going and just keeps echoing throughout the, wherever we're playing. And just let people really sit with that. And I just really, I keep encouraging people, come on, shout that out. Yeah. Let that be a chant mm. tonight. Let that be your heart tonight. Just mm. say that. And it is. Let God arise. Our God is the God who saves. We're not saving anybody. We're not arising. Yeah. It is God. And He fights our battles for us. And so, yeah. yeah. That's great. Uh, and it's, 
Uh, well, another great thing about it is that it's um, it's great to play and it's really yeah, simple to play. It's very simple to play, or I wouldn't be playing it. <laughs> I wouldn't have written it. <laughs> so you're doing capo two. Capo right? two, yeah, it's in B. It, yeah, and I don't really like playing in B as far as on the guitar. And I love playing. I love playing in A though, because A is a real rocking kind of key. It's yeah. Kinda, you know, just kind of yeah. A lot of rock songs are written in A. Yeah. yeah. And so. Um, the little intro lick is it's pretty simple. It's on the seventh fret, and it's on the seventh fret if you have a capo on or not. It's yeah. Still seventh fret. So it's just uh, the E string on the seventh fret, and then on the ninth on the ninth fret on the D string, it's just yeah. an octave. So yeah. then down to the seventh fret D string. Yeah. So it's just those three notes. And so it's just playing it back. And then Daniel's doing all kinds of notes. <laughs> yeah, all kinds feedback. Of yes, over there, just like, okay, cool. <laughs> you know, to make it sound cool. But the basic chords are just A, the verse is simply an A. And the little, our God is a God who saves, it's D, A over F sharp yeah. to E. D, A over F sharp to E. And the chorus is an interesting thing. It's just uh, let God arise, which is your A. Yeah. And kind of A suspended, let God arise. It's like a D over M. Yeah. yeah. And our God reigns. That peak just kind of goes there. It just kind of gives that little dissonant. Yeah. And then back. So there's, it, there's almost like a like a southern rock feel. Exactly. Like, yeah. And when you're playing, especially when you're playing an electric, you know, distorted and just cranked, it's really nice little, yeah. little note. So do one more time. Great song for the church. Thanks, brother. Thanks for coming by. All right, man.